This video is a very important Canva video because I did not realize this one simple thing could be so impactful. And what I'm talking about is Canva brand templates. And now that I've learned how to properly use them in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create your own brand templates and how to properly use them on Canva to make your Canva design experience that much more efficient. So if you're ready, keep on watching. Before we get into this whole tutorial here, I first want to explain the different types of Canva templates there are because there really is three kind of templates that we're talking about here. Now, if we head over into Le Canva on the homepage, if we go to Canva templates here, this is a Canva template that is part of the Canva library that are designed by Canva designers. Okay, you see all these templates. So if you click on one, you can go ahead and customize this template. On the other hand, if you're like me, and if you didn't know, I sell Canva templates on Etsy for my real estate agent besties. Catch my drift and scan this code on screen to check out my Etsy shop. In this case, what I'm creating is a Canva template link. So if you were to shop my templates, essentially what would happen is that if we head over to my computer once again and go to this page here, you'll see that what I'm sharing with you is a link to this template. So if you click use template for new design, this is going to create a copy of my template into your workspace. Now, in this case, what we are doing in this video is none of those things. We are creating what is called Canva brand templates. Now, essentially what we are doing is creating your own set of templates privately in your Canva account so that if you have regularly occurring designs that you need to create, you can just easily create your designs through your brand template. Now, if you are a real estate agent, as, as you may know, sorry, this channel is for real estate agents, but if you're not in real estate, thank you for watching. What I'm showing you in this video is how to create a marketing design piece for let's say your upcoming listing. So when you have a listing, you most likely want to share that it's coming soon. It's just listed under contract, just sold, whatever have you, whatever kind of property status that is and you want to promote it what we're doing is creating a template for you to make your life and your job much easier so i hope that makes sense so we're going to head back into canva once more let me just go over here and what i first want you to do is to go to canva and go over into the projects tab and before we get started I totally forgot to mention that you will indeed need to have Canva Pro in order to create your own brand kits. So scan the code there or find the link in the description box down below to try Canva Pro for 30 days free. Back to Canva. Now go into projects here. And what I want you to do is to create a folder. So I'm going to add new and click here, add folder. You can name this my brand kits. Now in this case, I already have my folder made. I've just named it test brand templates because I practiced this yesterday. So now what we're going to do is say, let's say hypothetically, you are a real one and you purchased one of my Instagram templates from my Etsy shop. Let's say you purchased this one. So ideally you would get this link. You would go to use template for new design, and this will create a duplicate of this design into your Canva workspace. Okay. And then Essentially, this is what this would look like. This is the demo version, but when you get the template version, there won't be any uh, of my pictures. My face won't be in there, obviously. So in this case, what I really want to do is take the first eight pages. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all of this. Let me just uh, draw for you <laughs> these first eight pages. So we have coming soon, just listed, open house, price adjustment under contract and sold. What I want to do is take these eight pages. So I'm just going to hit the first page, hit shift on my keyboard and click number eight to select all of them. And what you want to do is copy it by going either command or control C on your keyboard. Now, what you want to do is go back into Canva, go to the homepage. And in this case, because it is, it is an Instagram, 
post. We want a feed post, which is going to be 1080 by 1080. And conveniently, it is right there. So I'm going to click this Instagram square blank post. And now what we are going to do is command or control V because we want to paste in those eight pages into this document. Okay. Are you following? Yes. So I'm going to delete the first page. So now we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now at this point, I just want to go in and delete the images to give us a clean slate. And why are we doing this? Well, we are doing this because we want to make sure that we make Canva easy for us and to also make sure that all of our marketing material is on a brand and consistent because that is how you build a reputable real estate brand online because your face is on everything and also your brand colors, right? So if you're with eXp, you can design your brand and your logo every any which way you wish, as long as you obviously uh, put eXp's Realty's logo there that you are powered by eXp Realty. And if you'd like to partner with me, you can scan this code to learn more. Now, with that said, we have basically our template made. Now, in order to create this as a brand template, there are a few things. So first, I'm going to name this accordingly. We're going to do a pretty status design you can name this whatever you want i'm going to put test in brackets spell that right wow wow tessie no test <laughs> okay once we have that done we are now going to go into this share button up in the upper right corner from here you want to locate brand templates and if you can't find that specific button just go into see all and you should be able to see the brand template here. Now, if we click on this, it's going to open up this kind of page here and it says, turn this design into a reusable template, perfect for staying on brand. Publishing the template will allow everyone in your team to use it. But in this case, I'm just a single person on one Canva account. So in this case, you can add to folder and remember how we made a folder in the beginning. So go ahead, click that open and you want to search for that folder you made for your brand template. So I have this one here click on that and i'm just going to hit add and now we're going to hit publish Alrighty. so now this is what it looks like and remember how i talked about brand share like share templates not brand templates but creating canva templates to share with other canva users well this is what that link would look like i don't know why it, it gives you this because it kind of makes it confusing but if you wanted to see you can copy this and put this into another tab here and you can see if you share this with let's say another real estate agent on your team you are giving them access to create a template of or a duplicate of your template in their canva workspace so i hope that makes sense now what i want to do is show you how to use these brand templates, where to find them and how to access them because there are two different ways. So let's go back to the homepage of Canva. Let's actually go back to this design. Let's go back to Canva. And what I'm going to do is actually refresh the homepage. And then the first way to access your template is if you go over here to not templates, but brand. This is where your brand kits are going to be located. You have brand kits here and it's going to pull us right into brand kits. Now you see I have a few already made, but this is the one that we just we just made it. As you can see a few minutes ago. So this is the brand template that we have created for our property listings. If we click on this, it's going to pull this up. Now, ideally, what we want to do is use this brand template. But let's say you wanted to add another page to your brand template. You can go to these three dots and then just edit brand template and then add in the additional pages that you wish to add to your brand template. But we're not doing that because what we want to do is actually just use this brand template. So go ahead and click this. And what this is going to do is create a copy copy of property status design. Now, what I would do in this case is to make sure you immediately change the design name to the property address um, to keep yourself also organized. And I always like to make sure I move this into its designated folder. If you need to make another folder for your 2024 listings or 2025 listings, the year of that listing just go over into files here i would go into move to folder you would either create a new folder or again 
search for that designated folder where all of your listings are located in terms of marketing material. So that's how you would go about using this. And again, you would just either upload the images of the property to the upload section on Canva, or if you're really Canva savvy, create another folder dedicated to that property photos. And this is where you can access those different pictures. So let's say we created another folder. You can name this property address of the home and then just upload those. Let's see, like, let, me show, let me show you real quick. Property photo. I cannot spell today, sorry. Test property. Okay, uh, hit continue. And then from here, you can open up this folder. You can select files by simply uploading those images directly into this folder. So it makes it easier for you. Let's just say this is, this is, let's just say these are property photos. Okay. These are property photos. And now you can keep yourself organized with the folders instead of having all of the property pictures inside the upload tab here, which is just going to make things very not organized. So again, go back to that projects folder and then you can just click and drag your images into the frame. See that? Ta-da! Obviously you wanted to make sure it's a property photo, but you catch, you catch my drift, right? Now, another way you can access your Canva brand templates is again within, with inside this Canva design window. So let's say this was a blank feed, like a blank Instagram feed post 1080 by 1080. If we go over to brand up here, you can see that here it says brand templates. If you click see all, it's going to show you all of your brand templates. Now, these are just other ones I've created. This is the one that we just created in this video. So if I click on this, it's going to show you all of the pages of that design. Now it's not loaded yet, which I'm not sure why. Well, let's give this a refresh. Let's try this one more time because I want to show you because it's really, really cool. It seems like it is loading, but let's just click one for fun to see if it will actually, it worked. It worked. Okay, let me show you one more time. Um, it's not showing the thumbnail of the design, unfortunately, but if you click on it, it will immediately populate over the brand template. Now, let me show you a different one in, just in case. So this is a, this is the same brand uh, template, but just in the different colors. So instead of the blue one, I have this one in green. So let's say I want the under contract one. I would just click and it would immediately populate all of those elements on to this page. So all you have to do is just drag and drop your property photo into here. Now, mind you, if you make other brand templates in a different dimension or size, let's say, let's go to see all. I have this. This is supposed to be a seamless, just listed post, but obviously you can see here that this post is, is supposed to be very long, but this is just a square canvas. Even if I click this design here, it will still populate to the page, but obviously be pushed and formatted into the canvas of this specific document and design. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Let me drop this introduction. I sell Canva templates on Etsy for my real estate agent besties. I don't have a beat on this track because I am not a rapper, a singer. All I do is help agents prosper. Scan this code right here and you'll be a winner. Or find the link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. Subscribe for the Goo Goo vibes and let's get back to the video. Before I let you go, there are a few things that you need to know in regards to Canva brand templates that I have learned when I was trying to learn how to use Canva brand templates. Now, if we go back to the homepage of Canva, once again, go over into brand kits, go here. You can see here that one, we have brand kits. When you have the pro version of Canva, you can create multiple brand kits. And then here in this tab, we have the brand templates because we have created an initial folder for our brand templates. If you go over to here, folder, again, we can search all of the folders inside Canva. And in this case, it would be test brand templates. If you click that one open, 
it will just show you the templates that you have made within that folder. So that's just something to note as well. Now, one thing that I wish I could do with Canva is to unbrand a brand template, if that makes sense. Now, unfortunately, if I click on this, let's say this one here, there's no way, there's nothing that says to unbrand this template. So let's say I didn't want this to be a brand template anymore, but I still want it to remain inside my Canva workspace. So in this case, what you will have to do is to actually go ahead and make a copy of, is that correct? Nah, I lied. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. What you want to do is just simply click on this. You want to go ahead and use this brand kit or use this brand template. All right. And again, it says copy of brand of property status design. Then go back into Canva, go into your brand kit here. And now what you want to do is just delete this or move this to trash. So go into your brand templates, find that template you want to unbrand per se. And at this point, all you would have to do is just move it to trash. That way it doesn't appear in your brand templates. Now, if we go over to Canva once more, Let's go ahead and just open one of these designs up here. I'm just going to click on this to go into the design window. If we go over into the brand over here and go into brand templates, see all, you will now notice that that brand template is no longer there. But one thing you will notice if you are creating, if you have multiple brand kits, what I wish there would be was a section just for the brand templates for that specific brand hub or that brand kit so it's just if you have different kind of templates that are different colors they're all going to be living inside this brand template hub up here but like i said i wish if there was just a section that could just designate brand templates for each brand kit i think that would be very very efficient in my opinion but i mean obviously you can go into brand templates up here hit see all and then you can search for that specific brand template but i like to be more organized i wish i could create folders of my brand templates within the brand template tab if that makes sense also one little tip and hack that i have for you once more we go to the canva homepage, go inside to projects and because we created that folder anyways initially test brand templates what you can do is actually star this folder so that it actually remains on the uh, i guess you could say the dashboard of the home page of canva so if you go back to the home page here by just clicking clicking the canva logo up there you can see here that we have starred that template so if anything it actually makes it easier on yourself rather than having to go into brand kits go into templates go into that folder you've already starred this folder here so you just click on it and now you can go in here and you can see that it's it's labeled as a brand template, brand template. You click on it and boom, immediately just go ahead and use this brand template. And then it will create a copy of this and then make sure you change the name of the design and then relocate that design into a specific folder. Especially if you're in real estate, make sure you put it into your real estate property listings. All right. And that is it for today's tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you are going to be creating brand templates for yourself to make your Canva life that much easier. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, then you know what it is you know want to do. Yeah. Comment down below, hashtag and crew. So I know you are a real one. And if you want to learn more Canva tips, tricks, and design hacks, then be sure to check out this video right over here. And if you're ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.